Hey guys, Kadoos Campbell here for The Button Smashers and today we're going to be doing an anime first impression. The name of the anime series that we'll be doing first impression for is Akiba's Trip The Animation. So it's been a while since we've done anything anime related on the channel. We have been saying that we will be bringing more anime related stuff on here because of the fact that a lot of you have been asking for anime related content and so we're bringing it with Akiba's Trip to begin with and we'll be rolling out a couple others as we go along. Now this is the first impression. We will have a full review for it on the website and hopefully the YouTube channel as well at a later date. So what is Akiba's Trip? Well, there was a game released for it called Akiba's Trip Undead and Undress on the PlayStation Vita back in, I believe, 2013. And I actually reviewed this game for the website, so there's a review for it on our website. You can just head on over to thebuttonsmasters.com and just search Akiba's Trip Undead and Undressed and you'll find a review for it. Now, this is the animation for that game, but it's not necessarily an anime that follows the game and I think that's what makes this so much more interesting because of the fact that it's not it's not the same characters that's the, the biggest the most interesting most awesome thing about this anime is that it's not the same characters that are in the game uh, now in the game you have your protagonist character and you have his friends and all that kind of stuff in the anime you have four different characters that are new and unique and we've never seen them before Okay, so, and, which I think is really cool. <laughs> Just put it out there. I think that is super, super cool that we are getting new characters for this new series because that was what I was worried about. I was worried it was just gonna be. I was worried it was just gonna be, you know, a basic rehash of what was in the game, and that would just be boring. I mean, who wants to see what they already played in a game? I mean, I know there are some people who may not have played the game. But for those of us that have played the game, it's not really going to be that entertaining. It's kind of like me not watching the Persona anime. I don't really watch the Persona anime because I play the games. And I don't watch the anime before I play the game because of the fact that it will spoil the game for me. So it's a sort of a iffy situation. But if you have a game and an anime that are connected, but they're not exactly the same thing, you're not getting the same material in both, th in, in, you know, in both mediums, then that's great. Because then I can consume both and not worry about, you know, spoiling anything for me in either. So let's jump into what is Akiba's Strip the Animation. So it's basically set in the same world as Akiba's Strip, Undead and Undressed. So it's in Akihabara, which is a, a city in Japan. It's a, it's a shopping area where everyone go and they shop and buy all kind of cool anime stuff and stuff like that. It's kind of, let's call it Otakuville, right? Uh, I mean, I'm assuming that everyone watching this video would know what Akihabara is. Uh, I, I would like to assume so. <laughs> Anywho, in the city, the shop near you, there are these creatures called synthesizers. Think of them as vampires. Basically what they do is they, they feast on the social energies that people have and their will to live, right? And um, they turn other people into synthesizers and then, the synthes then they go out and turn other people into synthesizers. Again, it's like vampires or zombies sort of thing, you know, and the I guess the thing about the synthesizers is that some of them seem to like be like super powerful awesome I mean there are some who the others are also super powerful awesome but they're not I guess they're also super powered but not awesome that's the thing I want to say they're also super powered but they're not awesome so the awesome ones are the ones that seem like they're in charge and they're running the show and all that kind of stuff and the the story starts off with basically you get this sort of um, this main character. His name is I'm gonna butch this, and I'm gonna just put it in in the anno I'll basically just put like text in there for his name because I'll just say it terribly, and everyone's gonna be like, "Oh my god, kid, your your you know your Japanese sucks." Uh, anyone who listens to me on any of the podcasts that I do knows that my Japanese suck, and so I'm gonna try anyway, right? So the name of the character is is Denka Guy, Denka Guy Tama. No, Tamutsu. So then Kagai Tamutsu, right? That's the main character. That's the, the guy at the beginning with blue hair and stuff like that. He is a total otaku. Really, really like the guy. He's interesting. He's funny. He's cool. I like that about him. And I'm already sold on his character. I am just... Uh, you know, as it goes along in the episode, the first episode, you, you just... There are some cool things that happen with him. And he's kind of like... He's a bit of me, but not. he's like the extreme version of me, I guess, if you want to call it that. After you meet him, you, you also, when you meet him, you meet his sister, who's also a Denke guy, um, and her name is uh, Niwaka. So she's cute. She's adorable. She, you just want to hug her. She wears this sort of um, uh, 
jacket with a hoodie and has pink hair and a panda hat on top of her head and she's the cutest thing ever she's so cute and she's a total otaku too she's like a dork and um and i like it i really really like the two characters together so the story starts off with the brother and the sister and they're sort of you know out doing their otaku stuff you know he's an extreme otaku she just seems like the conventional otaku who likes everything anime and japan and all that kind of cool stuff so it's it's pretty cool other than the two of them then you get two other characters now First of which I'm going to introduce the one whose name is Arisa. So Arisa, uh, how, how do you pronounce this? I'm going to try this. Aokainen. Aokainen. Right? Um, we're going to call her Arisa. <laughs> right? She's a blonde yellow kid character with huge boobs. Wears a, a blue dress sort of thing. I hate her outfit by the way. It sucks. Um, but yeah. Blonde character, big boobs, that kind of stuff. I'm not really into into this character, I would say as well. She also looks very loud and extreme. I mean, when I say I'm not into her, I mean like, I don't find that character like cute. But I th the character is interesting though. Like when you meet her in the story, she's weird. She is just genuinely weird, and um, she speaks foreign languages and all that kind of stuff. And you you figure that out as you go along about how weird she is. Uh, she's weird in a cool way though. So like there's some scenes with her where it's just like, yeah, I like this. I like what's going on here. Uh, and then the most important character, at least for me, and the cutest character is a character named, uh, let's see if I can get this one correctly, Mayonaka Matomu. Matomi. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna go with that. Matomi. Okay, so um, she is adorable. She's cute. She has pink, pinkish red hair, sort of, with these white kind of highlights on the end of it and her hair sort of like she, it has like a mixture of two colors right in certain sections so there's a thing she's one of she's like a synthesizer right um she has like superhuman strength and all that kind of stuff and she can be defeated like the other synthesizers can be defeated now i haven't mentioned that yet synthesizers are defeated by ripping off their clothes which is basically the same as in the game you rip their clothes off the sun hits them they die at least and it looks like they don't die in the in this um in this anime it looks like they just pass out because in the game they just sort of like disintegrate you know there's this black sort of purple sort of um shadow that comes over them like smoke or flames and then they just sort of disintegrate in the game but in the anime it seems like they just it happens they fall to the ground and then you just see them laying there naked and um or in whatever underwear they're wearing or whatever have you so she can be defeated that exact same way and our main character he he also becomes a synthesizer creature thing at the end of the episode as well the first episode now again this is all i should have i guess i'm gonna put at the beginning of this recording i'm gonna put this is spoilers there's going to be spoilers inside of this so that no one really jumps into this and thinks, oh my god, I'm going into the first episode um, without spoilers. I'm spoiling the whole first episode. That's the whole point of this. It's the first impression. It's my first impression of it. And so going further into it, the first episode is amazingly good. It is really, really, really good. The first episode. The first episode is already up. You can, you guys can get it on Crunchyroll or pretty much anywhere else you watch anime. Um, it's already there to watch, and it is in Japanese and English. I watched it in English with the English dub, and I did see a bit of the Japanese sub. I really like the English. I'm okay with the English um, dub for this anime. It doesn't bother me at all. I'm okay with with the English dub. Uh, and maybe it's me getting older. I just I've gotten lazy. I don't like reading subs as often, except like Dragon Ball. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah and, and one piece it's like dragon ball one piece let's put it that way so akibu strip the animation is pretty good i have to say i really really like akibu strip the animation and i have to say i recommend it i recommend getting into it if you are into etchy anime because it is etchy and if you like interesting characters and you're a huge otaku maybe you're a dork you like these sort of things it's gonna be good for you so you're gonna have these sort of moments where you're like oh okay well, i guess this is a bit of a thing now again this is my first impression of this anime it could change as the series goes along i will be watching the series to its fruition to its fruition i guess <laughs> i'll watch it till the end of the season that is and i will put a full review up on our website when the season is over and hopefully i'll do a video as well for the youtube channel 
so that's basically it that's the first impression of akiba stripped animation hopefully you guys like it and if you don't like it then that's okay you can leave your comments and let us know what you think about the anime maybe you like it maybe you dislike it let us know and all that kind of good stuff so without further ado guys thank you for watching this video and i hope that you guys join us for other anime related videos in the future bye